Can you believe I found this Swedish mid-century desk for only $10 at my local marketplace? In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore this desk in the easiest way possible. I must say I'm super impressed by how well preserved this desk is and you can clearly see someone took good care of it. The wood has no cracks or chips and only the top needs some uh, taken care of. And as you can see, there is one small water ring, but hopefully it didn't penetrate the wood. This desk has been standing in our garage for a few months, so we started by cleaning it with a good degreaser. You don't want any dust to go deeper into the wood when sanding the furniture, therefore this step is very important not to skip. And once the desk was clean and dry, we sanded the top with 180 and then 240 grit paper. You see, this kind of furniture is usually made of veneer, which means it's very sensitive and easy to sand through. To avoid that, we made sure to let the sanding machine do its work without applying any pressure. And once the top was smooth like baby butt, I used Howard's feed and wax. This wood polisher and conditioner is like a liquid gold for furniture. I'm telling you, this wax smells like citrus fruits and you can apply it directly on the wood and buff it in with a paper towel. I mean, how easy can it be? I also applied the wax onto the rest of the desk to revive the wood and breathe new life into it. One of my favorite parts about mid-century furniture are the brass parts at the legs. It's such a small detail, but you don't see it anymore on modern furniture, so this piece kind of luxurious. And to polish this brass part, I'm using Autosol Metal Polish. It has a creamy consistency and works wonders on old hardware. Unfortunately, one keyhole was missing and it was impossible, just impossible, to find a matching one. So we decided to add this brass keyhole that would match the hardware instead. After a few hours of work, this desk is now ready for another 50 years of service. As you can see, the wood grain is now popping out and all I needed to do was to sand and polish the wood. Furniture flipping can really be that simple. And with that said, I hope I inspired you to revive your own furniture and to follow me for more DIY projects like this one.